Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to be part of your day. I really honestly appreciate it. I don't know what time of day I am catching you guys, but I hope we enjoy it together. And I hope I give you a little food for thought so that while you're going on with your day or in your sleep, whatever, that you're thinking of something and something that I'm saying resonates, matters, and makes it better for you some way, somehow. Guys, I wanted to do something, as you know, in Everybody Has a Story to Tell with Toddy One Skip, which is still something I very much want to do. I want to like keep that to people, though, and where we can interview people. And uh, even if it's a person that I'm interviewing who's telling a story and wants the legacy of the person that they're telling the story to continue on. So, you know, I'm all about that. However, I thought of a different way to honor my hero, my hero dog that um, passed on the 17th of this month, April 2024, on Wednesday. A dog that I had for 13 and a half years. There is a video of hero. Um, and uh, anyway, so I don't want to get lost there because I could just end up in a puddle of tears. Anyway, I wanted to honor hero um, by putting together a little like five, 10 minute uh, series that we would call Pet Tales, T-A-L-E-S. You see what I did there, right? T-A-L-E-S, yes. So I thought we would tell stories of our pets and what I'm asking you guys to do, if you'd like to be a part of this and honor a pet who's either passed on or has not passed on yet, and you could put together like a five minute video and you edit it, and if you guys wanted to send it to me, I could put it up on Pet Tales, you know, so that you get a wider audience that you could tell the story of your pet about. Excuse me, and it would just be like a series on everybody has a story to tell and or issues with Toddy One Skip. It would have its own little playlist and stuff. So what do you guys think about that? I think that that's a great thing, and I would like to start off with telling a story da, 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 about a dog that I had named Miles. Now, I have a dog now named Milo, who was named, in fact, after Miles, who was a full-bred boxer. Weighed about 50 pounds, so he was a small guy, but he was beautiful. He was brindle. That's him right there. You don't see that. But anyway, uh, he was just... he was. I have pictures all over. I have one right there where he's a puppy. I have one right there where he's giving me a ball. And then I have a hero and Ziggy and Dylan. And I've had a bunch of them. But Miles is the guy I want to talk about now. So that was Hero's big brother that I got Hero for about two years before he passed on. Okay, and he passed on of degenerative myelopathy. That's a neurological thing where they can't get their hind quarter or their hind legs to do what their brain's telling them to do. So anyway, let's talk about him. So before, when, when I got him, I had two other dogs. I had Max and Molly. Cocker Spaniel, well, Lasso Opso was Max. Cocker Spaniel was Molly. I saw a lot of Molly in Hero, definitely, when... There's a, a movie about a dog that keeps coming back, right? And uh, I used to say sometimes to Hero, I know you got Molly in you. Not that Molly. I know you got, you know, my, my girl Molly in you. Um, but there's also a lot of Hero in you too. So anyway, guys. Before Hero was ever a thought in my mind, there was a girl named Angie. So I had promised Miles that as soon as I got a house, my very first house that I would buy, that it would have a yard, obviously, more important than the house, and that I would get a sister for him. Because even though he loved the cats, he was a boxer and he was a social dog, and he wanted a dog sibling, a canine sibling. So I used to take Miles to this place when I'd have to go away, and, and I didn't have to, but I'd go uh, babysit my nieces and nephews, and Miles often went to this play area where he'd spend the night and there was a bunch of dogs there and anyway they also were a lab rescue so I said listen I'm looking for a playmate with Miles for Miles that I would adopt da, 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 da. so if you can you know have him play with some dogs if there's one that he particularly likes and likes him you know please so they tell me yes he's met this girl named and remember Hero's name was Faith right so 
I came home, I had the worst migraine. I had the Mini Cooper. I said, yep, can only get the one dog. I'm getting my dog, bringing him home. And da, 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 I had a headache so bad. That wasn't the only car I had. I'm not a moron. I'm not going to get a Mini Cooper with a boxer and a lab. So I go back the next day. I tell Miles, I got a surprise for you, buddy. I go back the next day. I'm better with my head and stuff like that. I come back with this dog that I meet for the first time. I decide I'm going to call her Angie. Because if I have to reprimand, I'm not going to go, Angel, Angie, right? So I said, I'm going to get this dog. And so I bring her home. She's a big black lab. You know, she's about, I want to say she was about seven at the time. And they told me the reason why they got her was because the couple that had her is an older couple and they had her as a puppy and they didn't train her very well. So as they got older and now they were in their seventies, they couldn't like, she wasn't very good on the leash. They didn't have a fenced in yard. They were, she was just too much for them. She was completely trained in everything. So I bring her home and I had like this landing in this house. So I bring her to my house and she comes in the door and Miles is walking up and he kind of stops and looks at me and then he looks at her and then he looks at me and he can't figure out how the hell she got here. Why is she here? I saw her at that camp. So I said, that's your sister, buddy. She's living here. Angie, that's your buddy Angie, right? So I let him outside, they play, everything's great, Miles is happy as hell, Angie looks like she's okay. Now they didn't let Angie apparently on furniture, never had a problem with that, it's their furniture, make room for me, that's all I ask, okay? Same thing with the bed, their bed, just make room for me. So I go ahead and and it's, it's nighttime now, right? It's nighttime. And Miles used to play with this teddy bear. I loved it. It was a plush teddy bear that when you squeezed its stomach, it did Rockabye Baby. Like, it, it did the melody of Rockabye Baby. And he loved it. He slept with it every night. I had a few of them. I would buy more and more of them because he loved them so much. But it wasn't the only toy he ever had. I'm not like that. So anyway, uh, we're going to bed at night. Miles jumps up on the bed and Angie's just pacing. And I'm like, come on. I tried to, this, this was her first night. I'm trying to get her up on the bed. Miles is like at the foot of the bed, but he's on the bed going, you know, like, come on. He's like, <laughs> I mean, if he could talk, he would. He's down and, and he's wagging and, and she's just pacing. She doesn't know what to do. And that's when I realized, oh shit, she's never been allowed on the bed. She's like really confused here. So I'm like, come on, come on, come on. And, and she doesn't want, she's like, she doesn't come. You know, it's like, she doesn't know what to do. She wants to come, but she's not sure if she should come. Is it a trap? She doesn't know. So after like, I don't know, several minutes of coaxing, several minutes of coaxing, she finally, finally comes on the bed, finally comes on the bed. And within 30 seconds, Milo gets off the bed and I'm like, what'd you just do that for? We just got her on the bed, man. What's going on? So I hear him walk down the hallway. Now he's got his teddy bear that's on the bed that he had. And Angie's like, not sure what's going on. I'm surprised she didn't jump down and follow him, but she just stayed on the bed because I think that she was just nervous. And I hear him and then I hear him come back and I'm saying, what are you going there for? I don't hear that the water's been drink or anything. So he comes in and he's got a teddy bear in his mouth. Hand to God. He has a teddy bear in his mouth. And I'm wondering why he needs another teddy bear. So he's on the bottom of the bed. He's looking up at Angie. I'm looking down at him. Angie's looking at him. She's just like curled up at the foot of my feet, you know. <laughs> and M Miles just flings the teddy bear at her and it lands by her head. He jumps up and grabs his teddy bear and lays down where he usually lays down next to me just to let her know what's mine is yours. This is, is that not amazing? That's the truth. Please tell me your story. Let's share your dog's legacy, your cat's legacy, your pet's legacy. Thank you guys. Hopefully see you next time. Please like, subscribe, and share. It certainly helps. And these are good, happy, and
healthy stories that make people feel better. And please be a part of them. Please send me your edited videos about the pets that you want to share. And I will put them up here on Pet Tales. All right? You guys can send them to toddy1skip at gmail.com. And in the subject matter, Pet Tales. P-E-T-T-A-L-E-S. Thanks, guys. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip.